All right, so now that we've set up our observer and our target, we can actually create zones. And zones can affect the behavior of pretty much anything uh, within that zone. So for example, if I create a new game object and then go to add component LOS Pro zones, we have listener, observer, and target zones. Uh, let's take a target zone, for example. As you can see, it creates a sphere, and it's a sphere of uh, the area that is affected. So let's create something of this size. And for this, we'll actually have to set the layer to the side layer. So don't forget to do that. Um, and here we can actually override the configuration of our target that enters this zone. So for example, the detection time is 0.5 seconds. We might say the visibility multiplier. If we set this to two, the target will be considered two times as visible inside of this area uh, as when it's outside of the area. So if I start it now, you can see inside the debug view here that it's considered 20% visible and has been visible for that many seconds. Now if I move it inside of the sphere, it's now considered 40% visible because the multiplier here is affecting the visibility um, of this target inside. This can be very useful for uh, stealth-based gameplay where you might want to create corners that are considered darker or less, uh, less obvious to detect targets. Uh, in the main 3D FPS scene, you can actually find a demo of this uh, which does just that. So in fact, uh, when you get near the light, you'll actually be um, more easily detected. And if you're in the dark, you're uh, less easily detected. All right, that's it.